Good evening, folks. This is Rio 855, and welcome to the Relevant Series. Yes, the, Re- the Relevant Series. Another episode of the Relevant Series. And today, we're going to discuss this Christmas. Yes, this Christmas. And it's relevant after 49 years. And we're going to dive into it. This is such a great, great song. And still today, it has stand power as a Christmas song. Oh man, Donnie Hathaway, he always will make you cry, you know, with his singing, you know, his choice of lyrics, uh, piano playing. He's such a great artist, very mixed. So, before we get into everything, let's dive into a little history. As I always go, This Christmas, a song released on December 9th, 1970 by American soul musician Donny Hathaway by Alto Records, or Alco Records. The song gained renewed interest when it was included in the 1991 Alco Records revised edition of the 19... Of their 1968 Soul Christmas compilation album. Yeah, it was included in the Soul for Christmas. And has since became a modern Christmas standard. Yes, yes. With the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers reporting that it was the 30th most performed holiday song of all time. Bill Upchurch said the song was absolutely the premier holiday written by African American. It was written by Hathaway and Nadine uh, McKinner. Uh, Nadine McKinner. Okay, a little bit more. Background this Christmas was recorded at RDO Finishes Studio on Ontario Street in Chicago in the fall of 1971. Yes. Rick Powell, credits below, said that Hathaway was very upbeat during the session and that he knew what he wanted to do musically and the impact he wanted to make with his song regarding the representation of African American in Christmas music. On writing the song, Hathaway, who died in 1979, Nadine McKinner, I'm sorry, said she felt blessed to have written with Donny Hathaway, a song that celebrates the possibilities, expectations, and the anticipation of Christmas and the good fun and happy loving times, and that the creation of the song was a God plan. God was in this plan, and Donny Hathaway was a genius. Yes, he was. This Christmas was released as a single in 1970 where it saw little success charting only once on any Billboard magazine's weekly published music charts. It made Billboard's special Christmas singles chart on the week of December 23rd, 1972. Wow, near my birthday, or after my birthday, on my birth. Peaking at number 11 in 1991, Alcove released a revised edition of the 1968 compilation album, Soul Christmas, that included this Christmas, as I say. There's so many cover versions. 1991, Soul Christmas song became particularly noted for the popularity of its numerous covers by the artists, pop r and artists. Prior to the re-release, artists who recorded cover versions including The Whispers, The Temptations, Last Night in the Pips, Hey LaBelle, Wow, you know, and then later down the Ross, you had some of the contemporary artists like Gloria Stefan, 93, Usher, 93, Drew Hill, 96, SWV, 97, Christina Aguilera in 2000, Destiny's Child in 2001, Chicago in 2003, I can go on and on, even Aretha Franklin in 2008, Spiral Gyro in 2008, CeeLo in 2012, and so it going then you know uh chris brown's this christmas it was a great remake from the uh this christmas movie so the relevancy of this song has been tremendous years to come and years to come this song is more popular than it was when it was released 
this Christmas was so much ahead of its time that it wasn't going to be a hit when it came out because it sounded so different than any other song that came out. You know, basically the recording went on in the late 60s and then released in the 70s. This song always thought it was recorded in 1979 because it didn't even have that type of vibe. It was so funky, vivacious, and spiritually gifted song that, in my opinion, it's the best Christmas song of all time. And if you black, whatever you want to call yourself, indigenous people, this is the greatest song of all time. I think you relate to this more than anything. It's some great Christmas songs we have made. And this is one of the greatest of all time. Now, you know, popular opinion, they will put White Christmas as the greatest song from Bing Crosby. Get out of here with that. <laughs> they will put on uh, Mariah Carey album, which the best selling Christmas album, but Mariah Carey can't sing and she had a good Christmas album, but it don't come near this. And you talking about songs like this Christmas, Donny Hathaway, Prince Lonely Christmas, that's totally different. Uh, some of the Temptations songs or, you know, James Brown. I like songs that are different. They don't have to be Jolly Jolly Christmas, but make a statement. And people like Hathaway Prince, James Brown, you know, Otis Redden, they made a statement. And this is the greatest Christmas song of all time this Christmas and it is relevant after 49 years so I'm going to leave you and as I always do I'm going to leave you word of peace God bless thank you like comment subscribe and share and I'm going to tell you again this Christmas relevant after 49 years Hey, go check it out if you haven't heard it, and it's still relevant. And check it out, young folks. This is the song. Thank you.